More and more black people are buying guns nationwide, in fact. A recent gun industry survey shows that gun purchases by black people were up by more than 58%. That's just for the first half of 2020 alone. And the group's most recent numbers are continuing to grow. Fox 13's Kirsten Garris talks with new black gun owners about their desire for more protection and community activists about how it may impact gun violence in the community. Tuesday night is ladies night for the 9th Calvary Buffalo Soldiers Gun Club in Atlanta. Kareen Eileen joined in 2020 and now she represents one of the fastest growing groups of new gun owners, black women. I feel like I've accomplished something. Eileen says she wanted to get a gun to protect herself and her son from home invasions. It puts me in a position where I don't, I, I don't want to be a victim and I don't feel like I, I am a victim. Did you feel that way before you got a gun? Uh, yeah. <laughs> For longtime gun owners like Marilyn Cook, this growing sisterhood is encouraging. It's not something you saw back in the day. They're also both members of the National African American Gun Association. Membership jumped by more than 10,000 in 2020 alone. That's a record for them. Now they have 40,000 members nationwide. So we take no apologies at all when we are handling a gun because our ancestors died for us to have the Second Amendment rights, literally died for us. Smith says there's often a spike in members after violent incidents, like the racially motivated mass shooting at Topps Grocery Store in Buffalo, New York. But he says embracing the Second Amendment as a minority is a double-edged sword. Because a lot of people, unfortunately in this country, when they see a person who's black and they have a gun, there's an automatic negative stigma that's attached to them. While more minorities are buying guns, a recent nationwide survey shows about 82% of black adults say gun violence is a very big problem. You got kids walking around with guns on a, on a daily basis. Bruce Griggs runs the Saving Our Sons campaign, which works to empower and educate young people in Atlanta. Griggs says the violence has now reached epidemic proportions. I try to make these kids understand when they come in my program that one, you can't bring a gun in here, okay? If you have a weapon, I suggest you get some training immediately. Griggs believes more people knowing how to use a gun safely isn't a bad thing, but he says the challenge is getting to teens who aren't getting that training. We've got to start getting to them before they stop smiling for their school pictures. That fourth grade, we got to get to them early. We can't wait till they show up at juvenile court. It's too late. He says what's scary is that some children feel like they need guns for protection. But some of these kids that I deal with, in order for them to go from school and back in their communities, that's the protection. These black gun owners say they're also working to be part of the solution by teaching kids gun safety. Instead of saying, oh, let me see it, let me, let me see how it works. Your child already knows how it works. We as women, we got to, you know, take care of our kids. Reporting in Atlanta, I'm Kirsten Garris.